Hello, I came out to film the lunar eclipse and it was all cloud um, eventually got some footage of the moon, I have a few different um, clips or scenes here for you to see um, I kept I kept them even though there's no cl clear image of the moon because there is um, they're, they're nice images, they're nice artistic images of real astronomical phenomena I know we never really think in terms of artistic um, filming of astronomical phenomena so much because we we want true representations and crystal clear images um, but sometimes when it's clouded over and you're seeing through a haze of cloud or several layers of thick cloud the, the images can actually look very nice. Um, so I've got a few different clips here from uh, the filming that I did and I hope you can uh, appreciate their artistic and naturally beautiful value. I've called this video post lunar eclipse because I didn't actually catch the eclipse at all. Um, it was behind thick cloud where you couldn't even see the moon at all, couldn't even tell where the moon was. Um, so it was frustrating from that angle, but that was the divine decision for us there, so we, we couldn't do anything. Um, I say we, I was with someone else so who I um, pulled out to film with me as well. And um, so what you're seeing is, po is post-eclipse footage of the moon. Um, I didn't want to just go out there and film and then uh, just say, oh, forget it, because we didn't catch the eclipse. Um, maybe this would be the only video of someone filming the eclipse, and uh, there's actually no eclipse to be seen, so maybe it would be unique from that point of view. Um, I had real trouble as well focusing. I was trying to use the manual focus on my camera, which I haven't used before. I was trying to use the manual controls uh, generally, and um, the they they were like a riddle to me. Basically, as usually you can work your way through these things even if you don't have a manual with you, and um, it was just impossible to work out. It was uh, it was a total puzzle. It and I was determined not to give up. I could have just switched to another camera, which is a bit stupid, um, because I uh, I had several cameras with me which I know how to use um, better. But I don't like being defeated by these uh, problems, and I, I wanted to work it out, but I never did manage <laughs> how to work it out. So that's why um, there's quite a lot of footage missing as well, because um, it was just uh, rubbish, basically. Uh, and even some of this footage is very... Uh, you can see it's very out of focus and things like that. I mean, that happens anyway because of the, the conditions, but when you're... Um, I couldn't even get out of manual focus that I wasn't using, and I couldn't get back into automatic focus. I mean, that's how much I was struggling with it. Um, but anyway, I'm still pleased with some of these images. I, I think they look quite nice. Um, and uh, I don't think the time was wasted. Well, I, I know it wasn't wasted, because uh, at least I had some nice discussions with my um, associate there, my friend there. <laughs> I could have included some of those conversations on here, actually, but um, I, don't, I don't know whether he would have liked that. Um, anyway, thank you for uh, staying with me, if you've stayed with me this amount of time. Um, check out some of my other videos of the moon, where I have um, clearer images. Uh, you'll notice as well that I've just recently put up a video of the partial solar eclipse that happened on January the 4th of, of this year and again I was thwarted by the same problem of massive amounts of cloud and so I only was able to capture the partial solar eclipse for I don't know, on and off for a minute or something like that, there's only a few dozens of seconds where it seems uh, clear at all so I've I mean, the good thing is there's several eclipses a year. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many we're going to be able to view from here this this time. But, I mean, there's, there's always something happening in the sky. 
Another issue for Muslims is that we should pray the eclipse prayer at the time of a solar or lunar eclipse, Salat al Khusuf. And um, this differs from normal prayer in that there are two recitations and two bowings in each raka or in each cycle of the, the prayer. It's two rakats, two, two cycles. Um, the solar eclipse prayer is different as well from the lunar one in that the the Muslims should pray it in Jama'ah, they should pray it as a group. And also there'll be a khutbah, a speech, a talk after it by the Imam. That's preferable. But the lunar eclipse prayer, there's no khutbah in it, no speech after it, and is prayed individually. But there are differences of opinion among the various schools of law on the um, various issues in relation to this. But another point is, of course, the moon is very important in Islamic culture. There are a lot of analogies made w about the moon, linking them to various other things uh, in Islam. And, of course, in Islam we have the lunar calendar based upon the lunar month. And the Qur'an has a chapter, a surah, named after the moon, Al-Qamr, the moon. And the moon is mentioned in a lot of different verses of the Qur'an. So astronomy and the moon, the planetary movements, or, or at least the, you know, the movements of the sun and the moon, stars as well, th these things are referenced a lot in, uh, in Islamic texts. But anyway, I think I've uh, run out of time, so I can't go into much detail. Thank you anyway.